So with this coronavirus lockdown thing going, my rose bed finally is going to get a little bit of attention from me. There's the uh, water dribbler thing. I don't know what it's really called, but it just dribbles water. There's supposed to be one right here, uh, but it broke off inside so i'm going to show you how to replace that first you got to go to ace or home depot or lowe's or something get one of these deals it's got a reverse screw on it so normally when you screw something in you turn it this way notice the teeth are backwards so what it's going to do when i stuff it in that hole and i turn it it's going to bite into the plastic and allow me to rotate that broken piece out First, I need to find the exact spot of where my uh, uh, little bib is broken in there. So I'm gonna go turn on the water just for a second, turn it off and see where it's at. All right, okay, so I've got my little tool here. I'm going to stuff it in there to plug the hole and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to dig around it just a little bit so that all this mud and dirt doesn't fall back in the hole once I get that piece taken out. I've gotten it down to the PVC pipe there and what I need is I need a new riser. This one is clearly not going to be tall enough looks like a six inch riser over there so i'll go dig around the shed see if i have another riser to connect this to if not i'll probably just cap it for the week we'll see okay i went through the shed i don't have any other risers so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna put this in there as is and i'm gonna close this valve so that it's turned off. So the drip system is basically turned off at this point. Just gotta pull out that broken piece, screw this in there. I'll clean these threads and that'll make it work. I don't use these flower beds, but the coronavirus shutdown has me doing all the chores I need to do around the house. I've got some roses that I never ever water. They're on this line, so I figured I'd get that all set up so they can actually grow all right let's get this uh thing dialed in let's see if i can get that camera set oh right there's the money shot check that out so it's that easy just the coolest thing ever right you gotta have one of these tools they are a necessity so there's the result i'm just going to take this broken off piece and screw it down in there and put on my list that i need a new six inch riser that'll take care of that problem just like that now I'm gonna go turn the water on and just check it. That's only hand tight, let's see how it does. Cool. So, this one is working for me. When I open that up, <laughs> baby is tight. I cranked on it too much. Anyways, water's on. You can see this one's working. It's got its little dribble going. So while putting this video together, I realized there's something I should put in here or say. That tool is made for when that riser is broken off right at the top of the PVC and you can't get some pliers on it. I didn't have to use the tool to pull that riser out. I could have just grabbed it with my hand or a pair of pliers. But if that riser is broken off right at the uh, top of the PVC and you cannot grab it with pliers, you can stick it inside and twist it right out. Works really well. I know everybody's having a hard time right now with the coronavirus getting haircuts and stuff. So I haven't shaved my head, haven't brushed my hair in a little while. So I'm looking shaggy too. I got a razor in the bathroom. I'm just being lazy. Anyways, that's how you fix that deal on your sprinklers.